So what do you do if an ear breaks off or you break a topper or a pendulum or whatever? I have done this in the past to the ears. I traced an ear on a piece of wood. I cut it out with a jigsaw. I made it about the same thickness. Then I took a Dremel and made the lines on the ear. But to glue the ear back onto the head is the trickiest part because you can't really get a clamp on it. What I do is what I'm fixing to show you. And using the six foot rule, you will never see the difference. Here, a topper broke. So what I did was drilled holes in the topper and the wood that I want to put back together. And then I put wire in those holes. And the purpose behind the wire is so you can put the wood together, manipulate it to where you want it to go, and that will allow it to stay while the glue is drying. Same way with the ear. You drill a hole or two holes in the head of the deer and then in the ear that you just cut. And then you put that wire in those holes and you push it on and you manipulate it you don't want to use very strong wire. You want to use something that bends fairly easily. A coat hanger wire is probably going to be too strong. Um, the wire that I chose bends quite easily. And so, um, anyway, you put the, you put the the wood in. I and I don't have glue on this yet. So, but anyway, the wire alone will hold the wood until the glue dries, and then you sand it whatever you want to do to it. I myself am not going to say nothing. Um, what I'm going to do is add super glue and baking soda to both sides because the super glue and baking soda with these furniture uh, scratch markers, it colors it in. And so, um, anyway, just, uh, just something to, to show you and I stand by. I was going to show you a clock that I repaired, but because I redid all my, uh, clocks here, I don't know where that clock is now. I still got clocks on this, uh, bed here my daughter brought her clocks over to me when she sold her house so i got those laying on this bed i got some hung up in here i got clocks all over the place i couldn't find the clock that i just wanted to show you where i repaired one well this is a deer head off of my popo cuckoo calendar clock and this is the year that goes to it the stub off the ear is not long enough for that deep of a hole so I added a wire I drilled a hole in that stub and this way I can put I, I didn't drill the hole deep enough so let me drill it deeper
it's plastic, so uh, I want to be able to uh, push it in, and it'll go in the plastic some, but I want to be able to push it in and be able to maneuver it. And by the time it's done, like I said, with a six-foot row, you won't notice that I repaired this thing. I don't want to break the plastic. I might be repairing more items. But anyway, and that's what you can do if you're having, if you have damaged parts. Uh, make sure your wire is flexible. Um, try to drill Uh, the hole as closest to the diameter of the wire as possible. In this case, I got my wire is 1.2 millimeters. My drill bit is 1.5 millimeters. Um, and then I have another drill bit here, but it's way too small. is 0 0.7 0 0.8 millimeters um, I can use it but it's kind of difficult but anyway um, and be able to like I said your wire is, needs to be flexible enough that you can maneuver bend the items to get it in position um, and have it pretty close before you put your glue in and then add your glue the wire will uh, will keep it there until your glue dries i hope this video helps leave me some comments give me a thumbs up and may god bless each and every one of you